Hello everyone and welcome back of our ethnic tutorial. Thank you so much for being patient with me as I get these tutorials out for you. So this tutorial here, we are going to be focusing on veining placement. And I'm gonna show you um, how I place my veins on each limb, including the head. And I'm gonna show you how I go about doing this with linseed oil. So yeah, I always use this sallow blue color and I either use linseed oil as my, as my medium or I use thinner and just odorless thinner. Um, so it all depends on how you wanna do it. If you do use the linseed oil, as you guys are gonna see in this video, you have to make sure you absorb that oil first with a clean sponge, and then after you have completely absorbed the oil from the veining pattern that you created, you can go ahead and blend with another clean cosmetic sponge. And I'm gonna do that in this video. So this is another method of applying veining, and I really like this method because I feel like I can really blend my veins, get that super soft under the skin kind of look. With thinner, it's a little more difficult to achieve this smooth blended look. I mean, it's still very, very possible. It's just you, you have to play a lot around with the thinner amount and how much blue you have. And I feel like with, with linseed oil, I don't have to worry that much about it. I just have to make sure I don't have too much oil on my vinyl before I start blending because if we blend and we do not absorb that oil, the color will most likely completely wipe off. So, so yeah, and that goes with saying whenever you guys are using linseed oil for whatever reason, you wanna make sure you completely absorb that oil back into your sponge. I think this is the biggest mystery when it comes to lin linseed oil, like I was explaining in an earlier video. We wanna make sure we absorb that oil so that our color can actually bake. So we're only using our oil as a way to get a smooth painted look on the doll but we're not actually using it as part of our baking. We want it gone. When we put this baby in the oven, we want no oil on the vinyl. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, here I'm showing you guys exactly myself applying this color on the vinyl. Don't get scared. I know it looks very strong right now, but after I absorb the oil and start blending, a lot of that color is gonna go on to my sponge but I have to make sure I don't completely take a lot of color off so that I can get that nice blended, nice looking vein. So you guys will see that. Right now I'm just simply cutting my brush. So I felt like it was a little too thick. So I just grabbed a pair of scissors and cut some of those hair follicles. Well, not hair follicles, but some of those little hairs right off the brush. So now I'm back to working on my veining. And this is exactly the same thing I would have done with thinner, but with thinner, the color dries much quicker, so I wouldn't be taking my precious time like I am now. I probably would be creating a line, then blending it, then creating another line, then blending it. With oil, I have a lot of time to you know, do all my veinings, well, most of my veinings on the arm, and then go back, absorb it, as you guys are seeing right now, absorb that oil, and then I am going to blend it. You wanna be careful too when you're absorbing your oil because when you absorb it on one side of the sponge, you'll see that it leaves that pattern of veining on your sponge, and it's not really dry, so if you go and use that same side of the sponge again, you're like stamping that color back on your doll, if that makes any sense. So you have to be very, very, very careful. So if you guys notice, I'm using one sponge, but I'm constantly flipping that sponge around, making sure that I'm using clean, dry, side, dry sides of the sponge so that I can absorb the oil and not transfer any of that absorbed oil and color back to my vinyl. I hope that makes sense. So now I'm blending and 
It does take a little bit of time and practice to get a nice blended look, but it's definitely worth it if you commit yourself to blending this color right. If you guys are noticing that you are blending and the color is coming right off or there's no color, you might need more color in your paint mix. So add more color if you're using linseed oil. When you're using thinner, you'll notice you don't really need that much color because you get, and the, the, the vinyl just absorbs that color when you're using thinner. There's something about oil that creates a bit of a barrier that doesn't allow the vinyl to just suck that color right in. <laughs> Now I created another line here on the inner part of the arm and I'm using clean, well not clean, I should say dried sides of the sponge to absorb that oil and then I go ahead and start blending it. So it's all a matter of what you prefer. If you like to paint your veins on and then absorb the oil, that's fine. If you'd rather paint a small little section of painting and then absorb the oil and blend, that's fine. Whatever works for you, there's no set way. This is just what works for me, and I'm sharing with you guys how I paint my ethnic babies, but I feel like you will find your own rhythm because I've been taught by other reborn artists or at the time when I was really young into the, or re a really young reborn artist, I should say, um, I had, um, a couple of reborn artists that had been reborn artists much longer than me uh, show me some techniques some tricks and those didn't work for me but it worked for them and their babies were amazing and, and I created my own techniques so these are my techniques and I'm sharing them with you guys if these techniques don't work for you feel free to alter them or if these work for you feel free to take them feel free to share them with other people
I know for me as a beginner, when I first started reburning, veining was, uh, I, I know kind of like the basic one, go, go, but I just, it didn't come, it, it, it didn't make any sense to me. It was like a whole nother language, like, whoa, veining, you know, you don't really think about that. So I'm so happy that I did feel myself recording this because I really hope that this, or I really feel like this part of the tutorial is going to help a lot of you. So, um, so yeah, I do, I do hope that this definitely makes veining much easier for you guys. Don't be afraid. At least when it comes to veining, you know, I do feel very relaxed. I just go with the flow and you guys should, you know, feel the same way. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I just wanted to say that about veining.
So for this leg right here, although I am absorbing the excess oil, I'm actually going to set it to the side before I blend it. I felt like there was still a little bit of oil on the vinyl and I couldn't quite absorb it very well, so I gave it some drying time. So in the meantime, as I allowed this uh, oil to be absorbed naturally by my environment, I went ahead and I do veining on another limb. So that is something that I do do sometimes. So it really all depends on how things are looking. If I feel like I can give it some drying time, then I go ahead and I do. So there's no set way on how I do my veining, just whatever works for me. So that's, that's where I'm getting at. So whatever works for me is what I'm showing you guys in this video. Whatever works for you guys at home is what you should really do. Follow your techniques, your skills. We're all very, very different. But of course, if this works for you, then I'm so happy because I'm able to help someone else in the Reborn community how to paint these Reborn dolls.